What up, what up, what up, what up, YouTube, Facebook, Twitter. This is your boy, Robert Bob TV Brown, with another ride report on the go. <clears throat> well, it's official. Bernie Sanders has declared himself as the victor. As the numbers begin to come in, uh, and, and, and it's starting to look good for Senator Sanders, not just on the popular vote on both tier of this Iowa caucus system uh, when it comes to popular vote, but he has caught up with Mayor Pete. Uh, in delegate numbers, and it looked like he will surpass. It was all, a whole bunch of chicanery, a whole bunch of uh, shucking and jiving and all kind of crap going on um, with this Iowa caucus and this bogus app that Mayor Pete and other Joe Biden all of them invested in, and the DNC thought they are going to be able to use that to kind of kind of rig this thing. Yeah, I said rig, 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 rig. For those who said we shouldn't say rig and all that because it's going to hurt faith in the system, girl, the system has been hurt for a long time ago, thanks to people like you who just don't want to call it as it is. Call it as it is. It's a rigged system, you know. So, uh, and then with um, you know, people who had to drop out because they couldn't qualify for the debates, but yeah, here come Mayor Bloomberg, ain't doing nothing but putting up ads, and all of a sudden he get to get in the debate. Then they taking um, Deval Patrick numbers and and, and uh, Tom Steyer numbers and giving them to uh, Pete Booted. Uh, I mean, taking Bernie Sanders numbers and giving them to Tom Steyer. And who who, who you know out there voting for Tom Steyer? More than anything, who who you know out there voting for Deval Patrick? And he's supposed to be the lone African -Amer American in the race. Black people ain't even voting for that dude, man. Get out of here with that mess. But nevertheless, Bernie Sanders began, began to um, declare himself the victory because the only states left to count are caucus leaning or sat satellite uh, caucuses, which Bernie Sanders um, is pretty heavily in favor of. And uh, most of them are students. And man, they got out to vote. Uh, so so Bernie Sanders sit in a position um, strong now. Um, you know, my main thing is I report the news, whether you like it or not, whether I like it or not, it is what it is. Don't like it, go somewhere. That's all I can say. But uh, on top of that, the man raised $25 million. This one thing I noticed about the Sanders campaign, and I said, this guy, the only person that's going to be able to stop them is the DNC blatantly rigging it. That, that's, that why, that's why he need to boldly say, I got my system of check and balance on my own. And if I check, and I'm going to check you. And if you continue to blatantly cheat me, then you defaulted my contract to remain uh, where I didn't have to run independent. You cheat me on running independent. Let me tell you something, guys. If he run independent, dude, he got a great chance of winning anyway because there's nobody on the Democratic side can run up against him. The only person that probably can't give him a run for his money is Trump because his base is strong. But Bernie is real good at um, holding the base that he got right now, and he's good at winning independence, non-voter student, the whole nine yards. Uh, the only thing I can see that may go wrong is these any anybody but Bernie, just like the anybody but Trumpers, the anybody but Bernie Democrats that would rather have Trump than Bernie Sanders, them doing whatever they can to um, just Puma, party unity in my butt. They, they're not going to unify the party, no matter what. I mean, Bernie could be the president nominee. They're not going to unify the party around Bernie. And here we are, we got these people always talking party unity and they don't want to, you know, and always talk about the Obama coalition and Bernie Sanders have not only taken on the Obama coalition, but he has expanded it. He has expanded his money game is long, his, his, you know, so that's why I really don't, really don't trust the Iowa caucus. I really, really believe Bernie Sanders really did way more than perform way more than they saying. They're just so embarrassed about it that they got to kind of keep it on a hush hush. But um, the numbers are starting to come in with Bernie. I don't have to go into the article. You take your time. I, I, I choose this article because 538 is very Bernie. They hate Bernie Sanders. Uh, but I choose this article anyway. It's saying a stunning turn of events. Senator Bernie Sanders is threatened to take the lead. Uh, the measure of the Iowa Democratic Caucus results that has traditionally been used to declare the winner. After vote update late last night, former South Bend, Indiana Mayor Pete or as I call Pete the Cheat, or I call Serial Killer Cheat, Buttigieg, that's my new name, Cheat Buttigieg. <laughs> uh, Mayor Cheat Buttigieg now leads Sanders by only three state delegates, equivalent in percentage note from what I recall, it, it's even neck to neck, and I think Bernie Sanders got a few more from some of these satellite caucuses. With 97% of the precinct now reporting, what time was this? This is 9.25 in the morning. 
Uh, so this is old. And, and, and Nate Silver, uh, writer, Nathaniel Rakish, refused to update it. <laughs> he refused to update it. They're trying to use this thing to draw this thing out to try to get Peter Booth in New Hampshire. It's not going to work. You can give him all the boosts that you want, but in this instant, Pete is not going to really uh, do as good as he did in Iowa. I mean, because the independents are going to come out for uh, Bernie Strong. But don't underestimate your opponent. When you act like, when you think you're winning, you better act like you're losing and work even harder. But nevertheless, Bernie Sanders not only leads and delegates um, on the first and second tier, on the first um, um, popular vote, and then on the second one, which is the uh, alignment vote, realignment vote. Um, but he already... So far to this date, I know he has massed in delegates, so, and they still got a lot of Bernie heavy leaning um, satellite offices to count. And so it's predicted that he will come out of Iowa as the winner and on to New Hampshire where he leads there. I'm telling you, New Hampshire is going to be a whole different ball game because, you know, <laughs> the independence, so it's a lot of people that's pissed off. And they they going to be pushing, get that app out of my face. Don't bring that app around here. My my thing is, guys, I mean, Tulsa Gabbard try to push legislation to get us away from electronics. I mean, you could, they saying we can do the um, official electronics and then check the paperwork. Nah, just scratch it. Just do paperwork. Stop being lazy son of his guns and do paperwork. And then here come Tom Perez. As soon as Bernie Sanders catch up in delegates, he want to come in with his crooked tail from the Crips looking behind talking about we need to do a recount fool if you don't sit your behind down man you weren't talking about recount uh when pete Buttigieg was ahead or cheap Buttigieg, whatever you want to call it or cheap booty <laughs> you weren't pulling all that you know people get offended when i say pete booty and they all, all, all automatically think it's a homosexual slur because he's gay that's y'all i call him pete booty because his name is short for booty you know so <laughs> So Pete Booty, Cheap Booty, um, as long as he's in the lead, Tom Perez was okay. They were trying to drag this out on the media to make it look like he was the declared winner. Now he foolishly going to have to retract that, and it hurts, man. It burns. Uh, now Tom Perez, with his cheating tail from the Crips looking behind, want to come back and recount everything. You weren't thinking about that as long as Pete Buttigieg was in the lead. Stop that, man. You guys hate this guy so much. You hate Bernie more than you hate Trump. But y'all always talk about Trump. <laughs> You'd rather have Trump than Bernie Sanders. Man, y'all guys, man, y'all really... <laughs> well, this party is ridiculous, man. It's a ridiculous party. And don't ever ask me to run. I can't run. Not in that mess, man. Nah. Man, Bernie Sanders can do an overhaul, redevelopment. He can do a in-your-house, you know, uh, uh, curb... Um, <laughs> curb he can do whatever he can to reinvent re that house I still don't want to have no parts of it anyway i'm robert brown with the rob report on the go uh, again like share uh, make sure you hit the notification bell make sure when you go to the notification bell make sure you hit always because they threw that in there now you got to hit the always to always get a notification when a video is hit uh and again thank you all for her who donated um through uh the uh, bob tv nyc all caps uh, paypal.me account i uh, really appreciate it um it's really helping me out. I mean, I'm going through some things, just to let you know, and it's really, really helping out. I don't want to go through through it all, but um, uh, but you guys are really helping me maintain while I get through this period. And, uh, you know, thank you. Thank you, thank you, thank you, and I love you guys. You have a good day, and uh talk to you on the next one. Peace.